Did you know that shock can occur when a person is sick or injured? It's caused by poor oxygen to the tissue because of a blood flow issue. If not treated early, it could become life-threatening. It's progressive in nature. Uh, the patient may appear uh, restless, uneasy, or worried with mild shock, and more serious signs may develop as shock progresses over time. Their level of responsiveness could become diminished, and they may even have pale, cool, and sweaty skin. If you suspect that they're going into shock, make sure that you have activated the EMS system. You've protected their airway to make sure it's open and clear. Control any external bleeding and help them maintain and regulate normal body temperature. Insulate them from the ground and the environment when you wrap them with a blanket to help reduce heat loss. Make sure that you do not give them anything to eat or drink, no matter how much they beg for it, especially if they are really in shock. We don't want to make the situation worse. We want to keep them calm and comfortable and uh, assess them regularly until EMS arrives. One of the nice things that I remember as a kid was if the face is pale, raise the tail. So if it doesn't cause any more problems with injuries, go ahead and raise the feet between 6 and 12 inches to help push blood back to the core of the body. I'm Kevin Young with Young Hearts Education and we're building confidence through knowledge.